Hello, this is Yareska Collado Vega from the Space Weather Center at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, and this is the weekly report from April 4 through 10, 2012. The calm and quiet conditions we've seen recently continue throughout the week. A C-class flare on April 9th was the strongest flare during the week. We tracked a total of seven C-type corona mass ejections, most of which headed in the direction of Stereo A and Mercury, where the messenger spacecraft is located. Four CMEs were detected during a 10-hour window beginning on April 7th. The fastest of the four was traveling at more than 560 miles per second. A disturbance detected at Stereo A on April 10th was attributed to these events. None of the CMEs or flares from this week resulted in strong space weather effects at Earth or any NASA spacecraft. A few interesting things happened with NASA spacecraft this week. First, SDO did a 360-degree spin on April 4th. You can think of this flip as a tire alignment for the HMI instrument. A week later, SOHO LASCO rolled as well. As a result, you will see a 12-hour data gap in the LASCO data on the ISWA website for April 11. Finally, even though space weather activity was low this week, there were some beautiful aurora events. It takes a strong geomagnetic storm to create aurora at lower latitudes. But as you can see in this computer simulation, the aurora oval is almost always present at higher latitudes. Overall, we expect the space weather conditions to remain calm over the next week. This was the weekly report from the NASA Goda Space Weather Center. Have a great day. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. Thank you for watching.